from Joe Intel. We got Ron from New Record Day, and we're live streaming. We're here at Rocky Mountain. Let me go ahead and turn this around and open up the chat. So, live chat, top chat. Let's do, uh, yeah, let's do top chat. So, here we are. Look at this place. It looks crazy, right? Nice, 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 nice. And so we're gonna walk around right now. We just, we just finished doing our talk. Did you like that? Yeah. It was pretty fun, right? Yeah, a little seminar action. So we did our seminar, and so hopefully that's live soon. And let's just walk into this room here. It's like and the marketplace for us. Marketplace Colorado Ballroom. Yeah. What's up? Uh, any questions that you have, or if you want us to stop by any particular booths, um, let us know, and we'll relay your questions over to them. Yeah. Hello again. Where's our friends at KCC? Hello, hello, hello. All right, so let's go. Let's go this way. Bob's devices. Bob's devices. SUT setup. What's up from Southern California? How you doing, Bob? Put it in the middle one. It's the one that would have. The 20 would have been too high for recording. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but the 10 would. No, All right. No, no, the, the, the he seems busy at the moment. What's up? Huh? I'm live streaming right now. What's up, Techno Dad? All right. How you doing? How you guys doing? So I'm live streaming right now. We have, as of right now, 19 people in here. 19. Um, what are you? What are you up to? We are selling off some foreign stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Distributor, Rutherford Audio in Colorado. Nice. Where do we find uh, more about you? RutherfordAudio.com. Okay. And you have some. We've got some Thorns turntables. Beautiful. Yep. Nathan Bell, hanging out as long as you can. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. We're just walking around here. All right. Try to cover as much as possible. Thank you. Audio Go ahead. Cables, huh? What? You guys want to look at some cables? <laughs> we can. We can. We're here to look at everything, right? Yeah. We're here to look at everything. A little bit busy right now. A little bit busy. Live streaming. Yeah. We have uh, 23 people in here at the moment. So they're watching you right now. We're out of uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, and we do uh, cable signal technology. So we make headphone cables, speaker cables, interconnects, um, uh, power cables. Make everything from the copper up, source it in, and do it all in house. What's Very your, cool. What's your website? Uh, AudioNV.com. AudioNV.com. Okay. Very cool. Thank you. We have to try to cover as much as possible, which is going to be hard because I'm there's a lot. A, I'm just a buyer. Just a buyer. <laughs> There you go. Um, and some of the questions you have here are, is Ohm Walsh there? I'm not sure. Hopefully they are. I'd love to take a look. And is Totem Acoustics there? I don't know. Um, Techno Dad asks, Ron, did you get tempted to sell a kidney for some cables? <laughs> That's... Uh, no comment. <laughs> oh, man, my kidney. kidney. <laughs> uh, nobody here? Okay. Hello, hi. I'm I'm live streaming here. Hi. Parts? Maybe do it yourself. Parts? Okay. All right. You gotta talk to us, guys. If, on the live stream, you gotta talk. You gotta talk. You can't just. I, I, I introduced myself. And music. Speakers behind us, man. These look pretty funky. Oh yeah, so. I I, uh, I checked these out last time. I think I talked to your son last time, man. So they, uh, I think they redo the old Altec Lansing speakers. Yeah. Yeah, I saw those. The old school guys. Yeah. One two three, Toyd, what's up? Kimber Cable? Question mark. I assume they they should be here. All right. Check this out. Records. All right. Pure analog recordings. And some Joseph audio. All right. So you're the host, officially. 
Who's the host? You are. I am? Yes, you are now the host. I'll follow you. Oh. All right, well, we got some beautiful <laughs> reel to reel here and some headphones. All right. Over here, we got some records for you vinyl. Collection. Are they new records? Actually, is this a new record day? <laughs> Let's go. Um, are you gonna go check out AGD Productions? I will. We'll try to cover everything. What do we got going on here? Oh. Where are the dinas? The dinas are upstairs. Hopefully, somebody's in there. Maybe, maybe not. You can do it, Ron. Those Let's Alta Atlantic drivers. Call. Let's go over to Music Hall. Okay. Let's see what these guys Between are. jobs, you're in trouble now. What is the show? RMAF is Rocky Mountain Audio Fest. Let's try to cover everything because I, I promised that we would, right? Yeah. So, muse. Oh, okay. There we go. I thought you meant yeah. the music hall. No. no yeah, okay, no, music hall. Right here. Music hall. Yes. These are some beautiful. That's a beautiful looking turntable. Like that. That's your style right there. Just simple. Six hundred bucks. Forty-five, thirty-three. Whoa! It's kind of thick, bro. That's not a button. Right. That's touch sensitive. Is that right? It's not a button. Oh, okay. That is crazy cool. The magic. There we go, right? Right. Would like to see AGD Techniques, Merrill. Uh, okay. That's pretty impressive, man. Oh sure. How are you doing? I'm live streaming right now. There are 37 people in here right now. Do you have any questions for Music Hall? Ask them there if you do. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm just uh, trying to sure. show some pick, of your I'm stuff. Pick my nose for a minute. Well, let's get it on camera oh, then. Live streaming. <laughs> let's get it on camera. Okay. Very nice, huh? Level turntable. So MMF 1.5, 399 bucks. 299 bucks for a more simple finish. Mm -hmm. And some scratch. Is this your style right here? The wood? Authentic wood, that's your thing? Anything that is wood sounds better. <laughs> guaranteed. Uh, it's kind of, it's no, probably it's not even. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Guaranteed. How about like a wooden tone arm? Would that be okay? If it doesn't sound better, you can email me at Technodad. <laughs> <laughs> it's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> They don't have. I don't think you have your speakers high enough. Yeah, you're not high enough. That's a problem. How are you doing? Ooh. Hey, how's it going, man? I'm, I'm live streaming right now, so if that's okay with you. Yeah. I have uh, about 40 people here with us. Make so cables. you're. Cool. We never. I've never seen this process. What is that on there? So this is the screen, the whole screen for the cable here. Let's put it into this, and we can. Give me a minute. Something. All right. Wood needles are dope. It looks like a lab mic on that. Yeah. <laughs> this guy crazy. said wood needles are dope. Yeah, absolutely. So basically attach another attach a cable here. Yeah. And then the other side attach here and it goes into the wall. Okay. So that means the whole screen, the whole is off into there. So you don't ground. get into the ground. I see. So that so you're you're eliminating any kind of ground issue that would exist in the internet. Exactly. You're not relying on the I see. You're I see. Completely in control of that makes sense. That kind of makes sense. sense. It does make sense. Yeah, because they're just pulling it from the ground in here. Yeah. And actually yeah. grounding actually, it. Properly. And actually grounding it. That kind of makes sense. It does make sense. Cool. Right, so I have 40, 40 Four people in here right now. Yeah. Anything that you want to tell them as far as where to find out more information about Atlas? Is that what you guys are? Yeah, Atlas? We're a, you can tell we're actually we're a Scottish company. Okay. We've, I think uh, I got that. We've been, we've been training for the 20 years, but we're at the show this weekend because we're launching with a new distributor, and that's Vanna. So if you're looking for Atlas products in the States, you contact Vanna and you get access to 20 years worth of great cable building. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you guys. What's your website? Atlas? Uh, Atlascables.com. Okay. Atlas very cool. Nice to meet you guys. I appreciate it. That's very cool. I've never, I haven't seen That's that. That's clever. I haven't seen that. As soon as he started hooking up other cables, I was like, <laughs> like, oh no. Oh no. Yeah, Tron, the grounding Tron. does make sense. Like, to me, that makes logical sense. It does. You know what I mean? You're, like You are guaranteed I, grounding it. You guys know me, guaranteed. and I'm not that person, but yeah. it does make logical sense. Yeah. 
We're not like Techno Dad that would just buy any old cable off the shelf. I mean, that, that makes sense. I wonder if the ground cable is uh, adamantium. Look at this. <laughs> Techno Dad. Look at this beast. That's a, that's a turntable, bro. It is. That's a turntable. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? We're live streaming right now. We have about 42 people in here. So if there's anything you'd like to say. Well, we're the band of Wearing Porter, so the 18 is going to be right now. Audio physical oh, speakers. It's available with beautiful. Have you seen this? No. I don't know what this is. This is just I just love the way that looks. It looks it's cool. Beautiful. Drop some knowledge on me. What is that? Phono preamps. Oh really? Yeah. I thought it was like some not like that. No? no. Okay. They make a gorgeous family of turntables, preamps, different tubes. Yeah, and cartridges. Oh, there's some big tubes over there. There's some big tubes. We should probably start here. So fifteen hundred bucks would be their basic phono preamp. I assume it probably does MM and MC, but I can't tell by the dial if you can. Gain 40 to 70, capacitance 50 to 620 picofarad, subsonic gain, capacitance, impedance. That's cool. More expensive. They're all tubes, which is interesting. Wow. Or tube hybrids. These two are hybrids. This okay. one's all tube. Okay. And that one's all tube. That one's new this year. Okay. This oh, beast. This bad. This bad boy. This mama jam. Okay. All right. Try out ultra linear. Yeah, you guys should have us do some awesome video. This is great on camera. Huh? How are you doing? How's it going? We got the doctor. Hey. Hey, how you doing? I came to your seminar yesterday, Joe. Oh, yeah. I made notes and everything. Yes. So I'll see you on Instagram. Instagram, yes. Okay. I'll see you on Instagram. Thank you for attending that. Hopefully it was somewhat useful to you. Yes. What do you have? What are you showing here? I, I'm live streaming, so I have 43 people in here that are listening to you right now at the moment. Are showing off the latest version of the world's first record cleaning machine, which was invented by my father with the BBC back in the late 1960s. And so we have uh, these particular models here, the larger one for the high-end enthusiasts, and we've scaled that one down into this small unit here, which is made of bamboo and lights up attractively for the home. So $3,200 for the bells and whistles, European source components, imported components, nice low uh, noise bamboo cabinet. Go around this side here. Thank you. And uh, I don't know if this comes out uh, over your broadcast, but uh, hopefully you can hear to some extent this is very, very quiet. It is, yeah. So, oh, wow. Put that across the vacuum one to there. Put the... Um, Fluid on the record like this. Yep. To smooth the flow somewhat. Yep. It likes to have fluid. It's not really doing much of a job without it, so that's just as well. So. Yeah. And then, um, so we've taken the the machine that's over here, which was a scaled down version of the original broadcast BBC machine, and then we've scaled this down down to this um, to this small bamboo cabinet. So. Very nice. So, where do we find out more about your? about you? Uh, well, um, according to Joe, we need to be on Instagram, <laughs> and uh, then you'll know all about this. So, yeah. and, and website? Gonna, and I'm certainly going to take a few hits with you on that one, but yes, the, the website is uh, on there, vinyldiscovery.com. Vinyl, Vinyl discovery, discovery. discovery, there you go. So is this sucking up the fluid here? Is that, that, is, what... that is vacuuming up the it's fluid. vacuuming it, okay. And um, it doesn't have... Reservoir is this one here, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, guys. I'll see you. Yes, we'll see you around. Thanks again for the seminar. Guys. Yes, you're welcome. All right, so. It seems busy. It seems busy. CDs. I know you still buy CDs, so. Uh, all right, so we'll have a video about these very shortly. These are this is cool. 
It's not something that was on my mind, but after doing a video, it is now. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Cool demos and good band-aids. Why band-aids? Yeah, why are there band-aids here? I'm live streaming. There's, there's 40 band-aids here because people in this huge convention center are getting blisters on their feet. Oh wow! Oh, so that's very servicing that need. There's nice. and then every, and then people have bad breath or what? No, they're just hungry. It's Mentos. To dinner. Just, just eat. Fresh maker. Just eat, eat, eat. But these are very cool. Um, we're gonna we have a video made about this, but that was a cool demo. This is a cool demo. Yeah. Um, showing what these do. By you want to do like a quick yeah we thirty have, second we video, have a, a one new, minute video, something new to show you. Okay, let's show. Here you see the frequency, which of course you saw earlier. And so here, we've blown up the voltage waveform, so you can see the tip. Okay, so now, this is sixty that looks hertz. Clean. Yes. yes. That looks pretty clean. That's just the bottom of the sine wave. Okay. Let me show you what the power line looks like. Okay, so this is with your the converter. converter. Right. Okay, so these are to convert. Okay. So let's see here. Now I gotta wait for it. There it goes. Oh, there. Man. You can see the jitter. You can and see then, the noise. And then that's how, it, the that's how that's how the. What's wrong with it? It looks that's great. What are you talking about? Fine, right? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> So, so my question the, to you earlier, because I was skeptical, I said, what um, audible difference does that make? And then we talked to Bob over there. Right. Bob and he said it made a difference Bob with a turntable. Clearly huh? hear the difference in the speed control. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because this frequency changes so fast and so seemingly out of control that it shows up in the speed of the turntables. Yeah. You see, a synchronous motor locks to this frequency. And and the cool thing is Follows you me. you you just kind of got into the audio space, right? You made this for a different reason. We actually started out with it as a different reason and tooled it to the audio. It was for the clocks originally? It started out for clocks. Because for when you when you get a clock that was made for fifty hertz. Yes. You couldn't use it in this country. Okay. Because we're we're sixty hertz here. And so it was all the time we wouldn't keep the proper time. Ten minutes an hour off. You can't use a clock that's ten minutes an hour off. Right. And so Wow. Turntables, same thing. Well, same. the common ground is the accuracy, the precision a clock needs carries over very nicely into the turntable world. Now we needed some other things for turntables, we added those into it too. But yeah. Got it. Yeah. Very cool. Very we'll have a we'll have more information about these guys. Thank you, see ya. Thank you. All right. So let's see what else you guys are asking there. Where's the Spotify booth? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know where the Spotify booth is. Spotify there ain't no Spotify. Spotify, Spotify booth. booth. There's no Spotify booth. Nice stream. How's the stream quality, by the way? Hopefully it's decent. Turn the corner here. Um, one thing you guys need to know: this place is huge. Yeah. Huge. Like to, to get from one place to another is pretty intense. Yeah. Right? Wouldn't yeah. you say? Oh yeah. Just yeah. watch how long it takes. We're not even walking slowly. Yeah, it's a trek. Stream is solid, cool. Very good. And I'm connected to a uh, external battery, battery bank, so. Oh, breaking up a bit? Oh, darn. Look at this place, too. Thunderstorm outside. Is that right? Yeah, I could hear the thunder earlier. Oh, that's what that noise was. Yeah, that was. Oh, my goodness. Unless, this? Unless SVS oh. is here. <laughs> Okay. Wow. That's a big room. Oh my god. Is that shit over here? Yeah, usually, yes. Yeah. All right. Here we go. These are the, the people that break all the rules when it comes to marketing, and it still works. Ah. All good here. Okay, cool. So what's new? Let's check out their uh, new turntable over here. New turntable. That. Okay. That's a big deal right now. So I think I think it's like seven ninety nine. I think. Live streaming like last oh, time. It's a nice looking turntable. Everything looks good. 
You know what's nice about this is it's totally customizable in terms of setting it up. Mm -hmm. There's no limitations. VTA, everything. You can. It's a hobbyist turntable. This isn't like a automatic play walk. Like you gotta be in it. You gotta be in it, and they're making that clear, which is cool. So somebody like you'd be into that. I'd be into it. Yeah, because I, I would sit there and mess around with it until I get the tone perfect, right? Mm -hmm. That's a nice. It's a nice looking turntable. Yeah, so seven ninety nine, man. Wow. That's that's a good price. But actually, I had to ship something like that because we don't. Well, shit, audio. They don't need a uh, any introduction. Pretty much everybody knows what they're doing. I think these guys do pads. Yes. Pony pads. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Live streaming here. So I know what you guys do. Yeah. Lots of different options. Mm -hmm. And we've got some exciting new things on the way. Let's well. hear it. We're live streaming here. We have about yeah, 48 people, so yeah, tell them. All right, well, this is uh, upcoming soon. The Daconi, uh, you know, we're working on a name, maybe like a job kit or something, but this is a headphone uh, case. $39.99. Um, this is like our eighth revision of it. It's got an uh, arm sling and stuff like that, so you can carry it with you. Um, we also are releasing many more headphones in our very popular Choice Suede and Choice Leather ear pad. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have like a, uh, a Fire Genevieve DT, uh, if you have a Kraken or a Game One gaming headset, yep. we're also releasing the Choice Leather for your gaming headphones or the five H Sennheiser HD 598 or 599. Got more pads on the way for that. We have a contest coming up for gamers. Uh, check out our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash audio. Uh, for details of the release, it probably next week. There'll be prizes like pads, maybe headphones with pads, possibly cash prize. Working on all the details, but that's going to be hot. All right. You're pretty good at this. <laughs> I'm just excited. That's all, that's all it takes. That's good. That's good. Passionate. Very cool. Very cool. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks, See ya. Uh-oh. 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 This is, this is your thing. You know what? I haven't heard these. You haven't heard the Imperians? No, I'll check them out later, though, because oh, yeah. I might be here for a little while. Yeah, you're going to have to fight that guy. Uh, you did a review on these, though, right? Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. What did you say was that thing, that, that line that you, you said about how they sounded? I'm like, that's a good line. I don't remember. I'm trying to think. It was a good one, though. But yeah, you reviewed these, Whatever so... Whatever said, it was true. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, you can find out more about them. Cord. Cord, Cord okay. Really unique looking stuff. I mean, look at that. Yeah. I mean, that is like really out there. The designs are really just out there. It's like your phone. Right, okay. Hugo 2, we managed to put charging So DAX, in. headphone uh, amps, charge, so you name it. Lion, lion yeah. What Hugo 2 will do is, is it'll have back this. If you charge, you plug in the USB. Mm -hmm. It's still running off the battery. All right. So what are you guys saying here in the chat? Um, okay. Zeus has room. I need a pad that fits around my dick. Okay. They don't have anything that big. Sorry. Buddy. <laughs> Dakota, okay. Uh, now take a photo of his face and leverage it. Later, uh, Nick, one, two, three, toyed. See you later. Project. We got to come and film some more stuff over here, I think, tomorrow. Yeah. We're scheduled so. to come check you guys out. Yes. Live streaming right now. Anything that we should know? Anything you want to tell these 51 people up here? <laughs> cool little boxes. Uh, brand spanking new products that just launched is our, our brand new RS2 transport. With carbon fiber. It's a unique transport. No other device released has ever had this transport. It's brand new to us. And, and the transport the, itself, you mean? The, the, the drive itself. Okay, got it. Yep. Okay. And then our brand new... Uh, Completely balanced. Okay. Balanced in, balanced out. All the sweet digital stuff from the Pre Box yeah. S2 Digital. Yeah, fully balanced. I squared S. Sweet. Awesome new display. Oh wow, it's beautiful. 
kill any remote. I see. Yeah. It just looks cool to hold. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like I thought it would feel. Yeah. <laughs> like nice. a like a just a piece of metal. Yeah. It's cool. And if you want to see it live, it's up in six one one eight. Question from uh, somebody in here, Ishmael Martinez says, "What does the carbon fiber do?" The carbon fiber probably just for isolation, and it looks really cool. And it looks cool. The most important thing is it looks cool. Cool. All right. Cool. Sounds good. I'm, we're gonna come by. I think tomorrow. Sure. Yeah. Talk to Jeff Coates. He's the man. Yes. All the answers. Yes. All right. So um, let's not miss anything. Let's go this way and then that yeah. way. We got to be fair and try to cover as much as possible, as long as they're here. All right. So I think this might be the same one. How you doing, fellas? I won't go anywhere if you got five minutes before you were actually out of five. Um, so, in the motorcycle world, can okay. you go to the motorcycle dealership and say, we have this little thing that starts available for you? How you doing? Good. I'm live streaming right now. I have 52 people in here. Anything you want to tell them? Live streaming for who? We do YouTube reviews. So he's got yeah. a channel and he's got... It's just imagine 52 people watching, ready to hear what you guys have here. Final uh, audio out of uh, Tokyo. Cool. Uh, you don't mind? Yeah. Uh, okay. But quick, because I, I actually eat doing the day. Oh, okay. No worries. <laughs> let's let's look at the products that, then. We have, yeah. we have staff that does that. Yeah, just show, oh, okay. show no us worries. what you got, man. Yeah, what, what are we showing? The showcasing? B Series is the newest product out of Tokyo. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's already been reviewed by about four other YouTube companies. We actually have about four million four million hits on it oh, yesterday. Wow. That's, that's one big. of the most sought after review items currently. The final audio design B B series. Twister Six just did a YouTube video. They got fifty six hundred hits in like two minutes. Wow. Wow. So um what's, it's the latest product. What's They're special dual about dual Hand, driver? Handmade in Tokyo. Final audio is the one of the oldest manufacturer of earphones, headphones in the in the industry. Wow. Most sought after most award-winning little one. Yeah, they're beautiful. It's like little pieces of jewelry. That's really pretty. I like it. Any questions over here, guys? No, no, yes, no. Larson speakers, okay. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you. Okay. Hey, hey, how you doing? Because then I'll come down. How are you? Swan song built. Hello, hello. Live streaming. Welcome, Joe. What we're doing is we've got a series of upsampling DACs in our headphones. It doesn't matter whether you get the battery operated one or the big boy, you're all getting the uh, same upsampling DAC. We're just giving you different features. The big boy allows you to plug into a full system. So you've got a tube, you've got a on the go portability. It is designed to be maintained by the user, meaning you can change the battery out when it dies. Headphones. They don't look like a Grado, but on steroids. The connectors <laughs> screw in. We're using Nord drivers, 60% more volume, and beautiful audio uh, for your ear pads. It is a silver cable made in-house, twisted. Very nice and clean, nice and quiet. You get all that included. Again, what I want to enterize is they're all the same upsampling deck. No one's getting ripped off because you only got the portable one. Wow. That's cool. uh, ask the price. So, okay. On the prices, the headphones are 1900 It is a tone wood headphone, meaning we change out this port here to say a road guys here, we're on 900 We're jumping up to 1900 and we're jumping up to 2800 Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. And so people are asking, they're saying the stream is cutting out once in a while. So ask, say the name of the, so Swan Song Audio, and where do we find out more about it? You can go to my website at swansongaudio.com, or you can go to my YouTube channel, which is Swan Song Audio, or I'm now doing Instagram, which is Swan Song Audio. Yes. Yeah, I remember, saw, I saw you. Thank you. We're right. doing the Instagram, just like Joe said. Yes. Make it happen. Thank you, Jeff. Ishmael, I'm not here to judge, I'm here to live stream. Yeah. I'm not reviewing right now at the moment. Hey guys, I'm just uh stream here for Joe's channel. Cool. What do we got here? Uh, a whole bunch of headphones. What's the yeah. name of the company? Uh, head amps. So head, head amp. Uh, custom, semi-custom high-end headphone amps in Virginia. Uh, best known for the Blue Hawaii electrostatic amp here. 
And then we have a bunch of uh, headphones here from Stax, Mr. Speakers, Alex Rawson, Focal, and uh, Spirit Torino. I have those. The Focal. Stelius. Yeah. yeah, I have those. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yeah, check this guy out. This is a new Alex Rawson Rad Zero uh, semi custom headphone. No two of them look the same. Wood, resin. Oh. Really cool stuff he's got going on there. He's, he's the guy that started uh, Odyssey, right? Yeah, he was the co founder of Odyssey. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Any, uh, where can we find out more? Uh, we can find out more at uh, headamp.com. Headamp.com. Headamp yeah. Very cool. Thank you, sir. All right, thanks. Moving along. Okay. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Redscape. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, how's it going? You live streaming me here? I am. Yeah, we're showing off, so I'm showing off Redscape. Redscape. It's 3D audio software for Windows. Uh, so this is going to simulate a surround sound setup around here. Uh, and there's a head tracker that mounts to the top of the headphones. Oh, and look at this, dude. Yeah, and the, he has them on the correct way. You notice? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. So if you, if you, hey, I know that guy. If you turn this head here, you'd actually see on the screen this head uh, updates. Uh, <laughs> try to, there he goes. There. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, perfect. Um, <laughs> Again? Let's see. <laughs> oh, okay. He's, he's definitely immersed. I can tell you that. So, uh, so you know, what's happening here is if you're hearing dialogue on the screen, if you turn your head, the sound's still going to come from the screen. So I see. If the speakers don't move with you, it actually stays put where it's supposed to. Wow. Um, that's wild. I know you were talking to me about this last time, but that's cool. Windows only, Mac someday, hopefully. I need to, I'm the sole developer, so I need to work on it. I need to sign for stuff. What does that say? Um, yeah. Woody's sound up. What? Is, what, is I, what, what, what even is that? How'd you come up with that name? If you're not following Woody's sound up on Instagram, you're uh, you're missing out. Oh man. Five 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 K. Congratulations on that, by the way. Right? Yeah. Five K. Yeah, thank you. Very cool. Sorry, sorry. I'm I'm back. I'm, I apologize. I was just chatting with him. So he does he does the headphone amplifiers. So he's the headphone amplifier guy. And he's all about the little switch. Yeah. So if you want the amplifier to add uh, as little as absolutely possible to the sound, then this is where it's at. So this is for Tom Christensen Audio, HPA1. Um, these are prototypes, and the final version will be available in early December. And the final price is expected to be $6.99. Right now, I'm selling the first 40 uh, for $5.49. Wow. Go to www.tomchr.com and order yours. Let me take a quick look here. Hey, I'm curious. I want you to try out that. You want me to put that on? Yeah. Let's see what you think. All right. All right. I'll do it. Just for fun. I don't want to get forced pretty well. Okay. Did you try it? Did you try it? No, I tried it uh, last year, but I don't know. I don't think it was through you guys, though. You guys weren't here last year? Okay. So it may have been through him. Yeah. I tried it last year, and it was really cool. I'm kind of curious how that sounds when you turn... For a lot of people, movies and games... Yeah, I mean, it is interesting. I mean, the sound is always coming from the screen. And you notice, like, it feels different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's you. No worries. Make sure you have them on the right way. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> Just <laughs> happened to my brain. <laughs> what? It's like that? Bro. It is? You need to try it. Okay, all right, I'll try it. <laughs> Someone clean the pads. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. Okay, look at this guy. All right, tell me, tell me. Quick review, here we go. You know what it is, is I couldn't believe the scale of it. Like, I thought I thought that it was going to be one of those things where as I turn, like, something would happen where it's just over here. Uh -huh. But it's the scale of it is so realistic. It's like there's still stuff flying all over, uh -huh. but yet the majority of it is 
It just sounded really natural. Somebody's laughing, they're like Ron's face and then <laughs> Alright, let me try it out. Alright. Ron's hyping it up. Here yeah, Angela says Ron's hyping it up. Alright. My turn. I'll put them on, bro. Hi kids. If my kids are watching. Alright, so. I can't stop. I can't stop. Whoa. I wish you guys could check this out. It's just a, it, it's such a smooth transition is what I'm surprised about. How far can I turn? You can go full 360 any any direction. Hold on. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if what I was saying makes sense. It's almost like I've heard stuff like this before where it's like the positioning changes too drastic. Where it's like, That's pretty crazy. Okay. Uh, but you did it in a way where it's like everything is still. Okay. So there, there's a real All right. simulation going on. Here. Thank you. Sure. All right. Yeah, so. It has an effect that it, 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 it all right. Well, there was a lot going on yeah. in the scene, so already there was a lot going on in the scene. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. on that particular demo. Yeah. But um, to me, what's surprising is how smooth the transition is. Oh, yeah. Right? It's not so like, oh, smooth. okay. It's not like, okay, I'm That's turned here. That's what I was saying. It's just like, I yeah, very gradual. It's smooth and low latency. So the head tracker, as soon as you turn your head, uh, yeah. the audio is updating instantly. That's pretty cool, man. That's wild. You're kind of like a genius here. Good job. So, uh, yeah, the software, I mean, it's 199 You can get it now on my website at redscapeaudio.com. What does it work on? Or? So only. it'll work. It, it is Windows only right now. Okay. Uh, you may eventually get a Mac board. Uh, but uh, the head tracker comes with a couple different straps to strap onto different headphones. In this case, I'm using the Sennheiser HD 800s. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> The software actually also has a parametric equalizer you can use. So let's just say your headphones a little too bright. You can you can you have a lot of control here to tone down. In addition, client. yeah, this is just all part of the software. Okay. In addition, you have a PEQ. And I actually use the EQ for my speakers as well. So I shut off the 3D effect and just load up an EQ curve that works well for my speakers. And how many? Wow. Uh, there's ten bands. Ten so bands. Okay. Parametric, so you've got a lot of control of how wide the you know the uh, the EQ filter is, or how narrow it is. So you can notch out small peaks, or you know, or just overall tone down the treble, or whatever. Add some. Things. Very cool. That's Very cool. Wild. That's wild. Thanks. Yeah. I dig it. Man. Thanks for trying it out. Yeah. yeah. La. You, you have. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You have our contact info. Um, My contact. I I do. I mean, I, okay. I can contact you yeah. through YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Because that would be cool to show off because that oh, yeah. really is something else. That's something. You know what I mean? Send you guys one. That's unique. Yeah. yeah. That's so, really contact unique. the. I'm just. I think other people should check that out. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thanks for saying hey, hi. take care. Good to see you again. That's kind of cool. See you, bro. That was fun. That was kind of interesting. I like, I like new stuff, you know? Yeah. When somebody tries something different, yeah. it's very cool. Rupert Knee Designs. How's it going? We're showing a live stream. We got a YouTube channel, so. What do we got here? We got headphone amps? We got a combination headphone amp and DAC. One big one here. Yeah. On DAC. It also has analog input, so you can take other DAC sources if you want and switch between it based on the front panel. Um, got USB 2.0. And up of the SPDIF inputs. Okay. Um, we also have real time control of the AKM uh, filter sets. Um, so you can actually directly control the digital filter sets. I'm not sure. What does that mean? How do, that you can control the digital filter sets? I'm so sorry. So, AKM, uh, they, they, with their 4497, they make available certain uh, filter presets in the digital. Oh, got it. Um, and it's not a particularly common thing that we see around here, but we, we decided to include that as a potential feature. So. Got it. Because I do have some DACs that use that, and there's no option, right? Right, exactly. So, that's and, why I was kind of curious. The nice thing with this is you're getting direct hardware control. Question from the true voice of reason What's the DAC topology? 
Uh, well, so we use our uh, Class A proprietary uh, analog signal pass, and then we drive the headphone chip amp, which is similar to what's found in the RNHP here. Um, but the Class A topology is a new upgrade for the upgraded headphone amp in the, the r and DAC. So Very you cool. kind of have two different tiers here. Um, this is the kind of lower end, but still definitely wide bandwidth low distortion. We're all about creating a reference headphone amplifier here that doesn't stand in the way of the music. Um, we really want the reproduction to really just sound like what the record was recorded on. And where can they find out more about this? Uh, Fidelis.com um, would be the place to go. Fidelis.com. Um, yep. OK. Yep. All right, Fidelis, spelled that way. And also give you guys a business card. Thank you, yeah. And you guys got a uh, phono preamp as well. That's the part of this. And obviously that can integrate right into the RCA inputs on this guy. Yeah. Just so to kind of build your own home receiver system. Yeah. Like, all over for you. Awesome, man. Uh, might as well reproduce the albums that have been recorded on a Neve console. So we're kind of coming full circle. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Very so, cool, man. Yep. That's awesome. very cool. You're welcome to listen anytime. We'll be here all weekend. Oh, Thank you. Thank we'll, you we'll be around. All right. It's better when you introduce... Yeah. yeah. Hey, this is Joe, Joe and Telly. He's got a YouTube channel. Hey, yeah. Joe and Telly. I've heard of you. Oh, YouTube. that's good. All right. Like that. What do you guys got? We've got in your monitor. So we're a oh, little local yeah. company from Southern California from Ventura. SoCal, what's up? SoCal represent 805. 805, Ventura. all right. So. Yeah, so we actually make uh, design and make our own in-ear product. Uh, do it all right there in Ventura, put it all together. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter dynamic transducer, so we don't do balanced armatures, we don't do lots of different transducers all in one thing, just one. Uh, big 10 millimeter. Uh, every product is pretty much identical, except for two differences between each model. We change the color on the back cap so we know which model is which. Yeah. <laughs> and we change the metal of the diaphragm, the part that moves in and out, makes sense. Okay. It's either a magnesium, titanium, beryllium, or carbon. Okay. Thus, MGT, IBEC. And that's what's giving you a little bit of a different... Radical tonal. difference. Not a little okay. bit. It's a big difference big in sound difference. quality. Okay. Very big difference in sound quality. Okay. Um, and do, so, do you have a favorite? Is there a best? Is there... I prefer beryllium. There is no best. I mean, how many pepper the B you word. Steak? I did. I used the B word. I shouldn't have. Yeah, well, what's, yeah. how much pepper and salt do you put on steak? Right, exactly. A lot. Everybody, a lot. I'm very little. Yeah. So it, everybody's different. All right, let, let's everybody's... leave. Let's get out of here. So. <laughs> <laughs> we also make electronics. Uh, we make a little amplifier here. This is what goes inside of it. That's the underside, so all the electronic circuit itself. Oh, that's cool. You're showing that. We actually have a YouTube video, if you look up Periodic Audio, okay. about the nickel build deep dive, where I go into, here's the chip we use. We use these caps here. This is the way it's laid out. These are all the parts. We go into deep technical dive yeah. of the way this is built. Um, it's a tiny little amplifier. Yeah. Uh, the reality is a lot of people buy music players, right? Yeah. And do you want to carry another box with you all the time? Exactly, right. Pay in the ass. Yeah. If you Small, actually simple. take your cell phone, the DA converter on most cell phones and tablets is actually really good. Yeah. The amplifier after it is a piece of crap. Yeah. I agree so, with that one. Yeah. You got that. I like that. So this amp basically allows you to take your cell phone and that, and you got something as good as like a thousand dollar music player, but it's based on a cell phone that you always have with you anyway. Yeah. So yeah. that's the whole idea. That plus that is great. What's the price point on on all these guys? Ninety nine dollars to three ninety nine, two ninety nine on the amplifier, uh, and those are MSRPs. Awesome. Um, available online, available on Amazon, and we have quite a few dealers worldwide what? in the U.S. What's your website? Periodicaudio.com. Cool. Just like Periodic Audio. Cool. Awesome, man. You bet. We'll, we'll see you around. All right. Thanks. Cool. We'll come back thanks, around. Yeah, There's a lot in here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's a lot going on. Moon audio, huh? You're with Moon Audio? This is Joe from Joe and Tell. I'm Ron from New Record Day. We're doing a live stream on his channel. Okay. You want to tell us? A rough, I'm probably the wrong person. <laughs> You're the wrong person? Too bad. You got it. Do you do not it. like being on video? <laughs> okay, why don't you just talk to us and then show show me and I'll well my, my boss would actually be a better okay I will come back yeah sorry <laughs> all right okay. we'll come back okay. yeah, he's cool. well thanks for letting us know I appreciate that okay yeah there we go yeah. Oh. Sorry, I was listening. Oh, I'm demoing. 
supposed to do that. I'm not supposed to do that. Oh, we were listening to you on Friday too. Oh, good. It's like they're busy. A little bit busy here, but um, you get an idea. More, more. I actually had a pair of those a long time ago. They're pretty cool. Oh, really? You know what I don't like about them? Mm. You can hear your footsteps. There's so much isolation. Wow. You like, don't, 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 don't. I thought you were gonna say you could hear your heartbeat. You can, and you can hear your. I can hear your heartbeat. Oh, you can hear my heart. <laughs> I like that bench stuff. Oh, yeah. nice. I'm not an extra base. Okay. That's why I like it for it. A little bit busy here. Bayer Dynamic. All right, big boys. I like these headphones. You like them? Yeah, I've got the, uh, I have those, the DT 1990s. I love those headphones. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hey We're there. live streaming. We're just doing a live stream. What? So what do we got? Yeah. So I'm wearing right now is the Lagoon ANC headphone, which is brand new for us. It's our first Lagoon ANC headphone. Do you guys know much about Fire Dynamics? Uh, I, I've had a couple pair over the years. Cool. So yeah. Awesome. So we've been doing for audio since 1924. Uh, so we have the history of having awesome audio. Yeah. That's basically it. Um, so what's cool about these, if you guys notice, mine they're lighting up yeah so not only do we have awesome active noise cancelling uh, we also have a light guy system on the inside so this main color you can actually change it to anything you want like to make it um, but also also will show you charging steps okay it'll let you know when it's searching for bluetooth also let you know when you're paired up and ready to go ah uh, also the touch pad in the side of the ear cup so double tap to play and pause all your media shut down down for volume forward track back track and that's pretty slick. That's clean. Little, yeah. That's clean. I like that. Very Active cool. noise canceling too, huh? Yes. Check those out. See if the how how the noise canceling works. Cause it's pretty loud can, in here. I can do the noise canceling. Yep. Yeah. We have these right here that are ready to go. Yeah. So these are paired up. So I'll turn the AMC off. So that's the switch here. So okay. when you're ready to compare, just switch it all the way up for AMC levels. Oh. Okay. Cool. And I see you guys. You guys are saying go check out Hi-Fi Guides. I plan on going up there. I think um, out of respect, I'm going to ask if it's okay if I live stream because he doesn't typically show his face, but, you know, we'll see. i got to ask. Yeah. Well, you guys know how to do headphones, so. I can't hear you, Joe. <laughs> I don't even care what you're saying. Nobody cares. <laughs> you ain't balling if your headphones don't glow. Okay. Yeah, What's up? What's up, youth man? It's youth man's in here. I dig it. What's up? What's up? It's not a party until Youth Man's in here. I like that. That's cool. I want to. I want to hear the noise canceling. Can you hold this for two seconds? Yeah. Um. This roar of the tiger says, "Young tatted audio chicks are cool." Okay. Young tatted audio chicks are cool. And I notice there's two levels of the ANC, like how much. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I'm getting it. Oh, I'm turning it on and off. <laughs> Wrong one. Okay, sorry. Joe, Joe is new to audio, guys. You got to bear with him. Oh. And then... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. That's it's not good. that's not bad, right? That's pretty good. I'm like, okay. So I just recently reviewed some noise canceling, active noise canceling headphones, um, and those are doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. So this is Joe from Joe and Tell. We're doing a live stream from his channel. Hey Joe, uh, Marjorie told me about you. Oh, hey, how you doing? Good, Josh. Hey, nice what's up, Josh? Oh, hey, how you doing? How's it going? Enjoying the show? Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's, it's a really good show. Really good turnout this year. It's a little, way different. Yeah. Yeah, it used to being over at the uh, DTC. Yeah. 
So, what's up? What are you showing? Our AU Flex earphones. Um, LDAC, dual hybrid planner drivers, high res, um, ANC, brings it down to negative 25 decibels, fantastic sound, IPX5 waterproof, Bluetooth 5, updated as so possible. So they're in ear with noise canceling as yep. well. Yes, correct. That's Whoa. a lot. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. And did you say planar? Yeah. Hybrid planar magnetic drivers. All right. He likes. All right. The best point. The best point. They're only one ninety nine. Where do we? Where do they find out more? Uh, find out more at www.ausounds.com. Ausounds.com. Okay. Very cool. Got it. Thanks, guys. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, good scene. We're gonna come back around. We're just trying to cover as much as possible. Bob your head. Okay. <laughs> Bye to. All right. Looks like they're amplifiers, maybe? Yeah, headphone amplifiers. So, excuse me, I have a few questions here. Yeah. Um, oh, this is nice. Oh. Hey. How you doing? I was talking to. Oh, you're talking to. That's Howard. That's Howard. Hey, Howard. Uh, Howard. So. Disapproving Howard. Thank you. Disapproving. Okay. Take it, take it easy, man. So, I got some people in here. We have 56 people in here. Just live streaming. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about some of the stuff oh, that we absolutely. have here? Oh, yeah. Sparkos Amplifiers? Sparkos Labs, yeah. So, we start out making the uh, op amps and regulators. Those are components go inside. People can swap those out in their gear. Now, we're making gear with them. This is our first product like that. The Air headphone amplifier we're unveiling it here at show we got some focal utopias on this one some zmfs on that one we're using dana cables he's he's a guy down here he's got a headphone amp too some hi-fi mans we're running a uh, dinner frip stack with uh, j river streaming and uh yeah that's what we got going on here and this is a uh, disapproving howard his scornful disposition strive, forces us to strive for perfection. <laughs> and since he's never satisfied with anything, we can never be satisfied. That sounds either. like some other people that I know. Uh, who? I don't know. Just some, a few people I know are kind of like like Howard here. Yeah, with his you know scornful disposition. Yeah, you got to yeah. try to strive. Yeah. Very cool. Where do we All find right. out more? Uh, SparkosLabs.com. Sparkos Labs. Got some flyers, and cards. Take anything you want. Sounds got good. Some candy, Kit Kats. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. I have to do that. <laughs> Thanks, man. We'll, we'll see you around. Jerry Harvey Audio. Jerry Harvey Audio. Hey guys, we're doing a live stream. Can you want to tell us about what you got going on? Anybody? So we're doing uh, in-ear monitors. Uh, we do about 90% of the major music industry. Okay. Um, also audio files. Okay. Uh, we started three drivers, go up to 12 drivers per year. Uh, 12? Is that what you said? Yep. 12 drivers per year, fourth yes. order crossover. Uh, majority of what we do is acrylic, but we do a full solid wood ear piece, which is hand shaped. Uh, we also do full carbon fiber pieces. Really Kyle. Yeah. We're doing uh, impressions on site with purchases today. We've got show prices going. Impressions, so you do like a mold inside of the ears? So 99% of what we do is custom fit. Okay. Um, we do have universal stuff available. Okay. But uh, yeah, at the show, we're doing impressions on site. Just so you don't have to do all the Okay. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out the website, it's jhaudio.com. jhaudio.com. Cool. Okay. Very cool. Fast tags. Hello. Come on, guys. We're doing a Hi. live stream. Hi. So, Fast tags, huh? What do you guys got going on? Uh, it's uh, for the pro, pro audio. Pro audio? Okay. Pro monitoring. Oh, monitor. Okay. Yes. Monitoring. Okay. Very cool. Open, closed, semi open. That headphone amplifier, planar magnetic. Okay, I see that. All right, here's the uh, spread. Very cool. G okay. Very right. cool. Very cool. Fun <laughs> sex. There's their giveaway 
stuff right there. So $5.99, $15.99, $17.99. That's their big boy stuff. Have you tried these? No. You I, haven't? I've never tried a Fostex headphone, ever. You want to try the big boy one? Well, I don't mind. I don't mind. Might as well. How's the comfort so far? Comfort, at least you could tell me. They're really light. They're light. Let me see. Yeah, like surprisingly light. Oh wow! It's like nothing. Okay. Yeah. So they are comfortable. Uh, somebody says uh, the TH900 MK2s are some base cannons. Okay, that's these guys. Okay. Okay. All right. You're checking out the 909s. These are the 909s. So open, open back flagship. So I assume these are probably a similar design to these, but just open back. Maybe, okay. I'm assuming. Sorry, digital philosophy. The problem is that I have to keep this charged, and so I can't put it on the gimbal right now. Because this uh, uh, streaming kills the battery like crazy, so I apologize. I'll try to hold it more steady. I don't love them. You don't love them? I don't love them. Okay. I mean, they're not bad. Okay. It's like more on the like super analytical, super precise, super clean, but there's not a whole lot of like... That's not your style. Body. Well, there's just no, like, there's not a lot of body and weight. Behind Got it. it. Not a lot. Yeah. Not, not Joe, go back to the room that chased you out of x -Wona. Okay. <laughs> Too bad. One, two, three, Toy is in here. I'd love to hear if he ever done any build with Fostex speaker components. Okay. They're saying, please use your gimbal, which means I'm probably doing some shaky cam type of stuff. I'll try to be a little bit more considerate. Joe and Tell shaky cam. The shaky cam. I apologize. Kern. I think these guys do, uh, yeah, they do like these guys, meet, like players look like. That's cool. Uh, somebody says here uh, they're more colored. Um, I guess he's talking about some other ones. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Huh. We're live streaming. Is there anything that you want to say on the live stream? Yes, we have uh, 56 people on here. So this is actually our brand new flagship player. It's the SP2000. Uh, it's being released in the U.S. on September 19th. It plays every single kind of music file format out there. High resolution files, lossy files. It's available in stainless steel and copper. Wow. Starts out as is it heavy? Like a tank. Yeah, it starts out as a solid piece of metal that's actually machined out. I can and everything. tell. Um, High-end DAC chipsets in there, 512 gigs of internal memory, one micro SD card slot, which will take up to a one terabyte micro SD card. So you could get about a terabyte and a half of music on there. It's cool, man. You drive pretty much any headphone that's out there with enough power. Very cool. Um, where to find out more information? Uh, U.S. dot Astel and current N, the letter N. The letter N, okay. Com. Thank you. <laughs> Not, don't do the ampersand. No, N. Okay. So, Ron, I have a quick question. Yeah, what's up? Oh, oh, you're right here. Yeah. There you are. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. You were messing with me. You were messing with me. How you doing? Hi, how are you Hi. doing? Hi. I'm on a live stream. We have Who you 59, 59 people in here on YouTube. So, 
What are you up to? I'm AIX Records. I've been at this for about 20 years when high resolution music recording came out of formats like SACD and yeah. DVD audio DVD back in 2000. Yeah. So, you know, you got this opportunity for better quality, the yep. potential for better quality. But what did the industry do? What did Warner Brothers and Virgin and Universal yeah. do? Sony. They went back to their catalog and they pulled out multi channel tape and they hired big time engineers to remix Queen Knight at the Opera. Yeah. Well, that's a standard definition recording. There's nothing high res about an analog recording from 1970. Yeah. So somebody, and I elected myself, had to go and make, and I didn't have a catalog. I went out and I made a, 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 a new recording. I made 85 new recordings. Wow. By bringing the artists onto the stage, recording them at 90. 26 kilohertz, 24 bits, but less about format and more about how I made the recording. I brought all the artists onto a live venue concert hall stage yeah. in downtown LA. I didn't record, uh, I recorded at 9624. No EQ during the mixing or mastering, no dynamics processing. No flattening of dynamics. Yeah. Real room reverb. Yeah. And everybody sings and plays at the same time. Wow. So what you get on a live performance. This yeah. is like a live performance without an audience to mess it up in your home. And since they're all on the stage at the same time, shoot video of it. That's including awesome. high def video down on the Blu-rays or standard def on the DVDs. Nathan Bell here says AIX love their DVD audio discs. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. Well, awesome. back in the day is still today. I've still got a whole table for them. <laughs> And then, where, where do people go to find out more about you? Uh, like, well, if, um, if you Google my name or AIX Records, I come up a lot. AIX Records, okay. So, uh, AIX Records. Nathan Bell says, love their audience mix and stage mix on the same disc. Well, that's, I was just about to say, each disc... Uh, so they know, that it's cool, right? These people know about well, you. No, no, the people that know, know, and, and Nathan is obviously one of those. There's a 5.1 mix with you sitting in the middle of the band. I call that a stage mix. Very aggressive mix. Drums over on the right side and piano over on the left side and so on. And then you can switch the, the audio and it'll, it'll put you in the best seat in the house. So now the only thing coming out of your surround speakers is the ambience of the hall and the band has been pushed up in front of you. And then there's of course stereo mixes on there as well for people that have two channel systems. Very cool. Give people the flexibility, why not? Somebody said, Digital Philosophy says, there should be more of this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. There's Alrighty. Only one, there's only one of these. Well, thank you. Thank You're you for your welcome. time. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, Mark. Cheers, guys. Thank you, sir. This is a this is a lot, man. There's a lot of things to, to check out. Yeah, take us. I don't know if this is gonna be a hard. I know. I don't know if this is gonna be easier or harder when we start doing the the rooms. Yeah, no kidding, man. Right? Because at least this is all one big room. Yeah. And we're not getting flagged for. <laughs> music copyright. Oh, true. That's what's good about this. Benchmark. You know this stuff? Benchmark? Yeah. I like this stuff. It's good. Okay. You're busy. We'll come back. Didn't we say we we're going to go back to another guy? Just want to make sure to uh, try to give everybody a fair amount of time here. Um, see you later, Nathan Bell. We're doing a, uh, this is Joe from Joe I did not see the uh, Z Reviews room yet, no. Design, so 6922 is on the front end, and then a MOSFET coupled out for the stage. Never seen a volume control very nice. See you, son of a whole horse. Okay. See you later. Of course, the custom heat sinks are a very nice touch. Oh, look at that. Yeah, oh, of course. Wow. Very and then cool. uh, Primo Uno, which has been around for quite some time, yeah. uh, they recently started adding headphone outs to all their integrated amps, so we're showing the entry level integrated amp. Very cool. Awesome. And you guys are in up LA area, right? Yeah, LA County. Yeah. Cool. And upscaleaudio.com. Right, well, cool. Thanks. Guys. thanks. thanks.
cool. How are you doing? Hey guys, uh, this is Joe from Joe and Tell. We're doing some streaming. Okay. We want to learn a little bit more about you guys and mobile in your mobile, right? Yeah. We're actually based in Tyler, Texas. Is that right? I didn't know that. Very yeah. cool. Well, that's where the home office is. Uh, my brother lives in Thailand, and that's actually where he started the company. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. You guys got any new products that you're showcasing, or just kind of the whole gamut really of everything? Uh, Forrester, you're asking if I'm going to go now. Um, I'm trying to go down the line, so. Um, uh, six. Six drivers? Six driver, but it's three different types of drivers. You've got the dynamic. How do you stuff six drivers in that? Well, these have ten. Oh, why not? <laughs> why not? Wow. Yeah. Very cool stuff. Uh, Jesse Barreto says, I have a pair of Noble Custom IEMs. Love it. Not going to lie. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Very cool. That's the Custom Con. That's actually brand new. Okay. These just came out. But those are 3000 bucks. And this is one where you get the mold done, right? You right. get the molding done? Okay. So that's all custom. Wow. Wow. Very cool, guys. Well, thank you. No, NobleAudio.com? Yeah. NobleAudio.com. Noble NobleAudio.com. Okay, thank you. Hey, Hello. guys. Hi. We're doing a, a live stream on Joe's uh, YouTube channel. we got a good amount of people just kind of hanging out. With About us. 60 people, approximately. So what is what do you guys do? We're a case solutions company. And we provide protective cases for all of this high-end audio that you see here. We need it, right? Yeah. Exactly. This is so, really cool. Yes, I this like is that. The Harman Kardon on its series of studio pod. Very cool. So I'm gonna go over here and just take a quick look. Sure. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. And what's the website? www.getgearcase.com. Very cool. Cool stuff, guys. All right. I'm going to go over there. That's you guys, too, over here, right? I have silicone scans for um, portable speakers. Those down there are for the Bose speakers. Right. I could tell by looking at it. <laughs> I've seen that shape before. All right. Cool. Thank you for your time. That's okay. Do you need something done? You <laughs> need some some a little space I, action? I think I'm good, man. I got my Botox done this morning. Okay. So. There you go. Uh, Sennheiser. Sennheiser. Never heard of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you silly guy. All right. Hey, hello, hello. Hey, hey. We are live streaming here. Tom, you're with Sennheiser. Yes. We're fans. This is Joe. Oh, Justin. hey, hey, Justin. Bob. Okay. Hey, how you doing? You guys enjoying the show? Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. Great. Cool. You guys show cool. Awesome, awesome. So, so what are you what are you checking out here? Um, the 800s. Okay. okay. Uh, this is the 800s. You like them? Okay. Yeah, they sound good. <laughs> yeah, they usually the 800. Yes. Yep. These are first days. Is that what those are? Yeah, those are yep, yep, earbuds. Yep, okay. Got it. What's new over here? So they've got the Momentum 3s, I okay. think. Is that these in the middle? Right here. Momentum. Oh, this guy right here. Momentum yep. 3. Released today. Okay, brand new. Brand new. And then they got some like uh, I'm gonna go over there. Wireless uh, buds. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, so these guys are... Oh, those are cool. <laughs> um, four hours of listening per charge with two extra charges via the case. So 12 hours total listening. Yeah, just charges right into the case there. That's pretty wild. Pretty cool. Very cool. The Sun has have any uh, noise-canceling headphones now. Hey Tom, does Sennheiser do noise canceling? Yes, all of these. They do. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. cool. Uh, let's see here. Please ask them when they will update uh, 
will release a firmware update to their Ambio soundbar to fix the sync between TV and soundbar. I don't know. Probably not. The... What's that? Uh, firmware update to fix the Ambio soundbar to fix the sync between TV and soundbar. It mostly is already there. So do, do the, we just had an update. Try to update it. That should work. Okay, what's if not, for? there is a sync feature on the app. Uh, this one is going to help you fix any the noise cancel. Okay. There you go. I, I wasn't That's sure you'd have the answer because That's we're in the, the headphone area. Yeah, no, no. But um, yeah, people are asking. So yeah, no, that that's something we we're addressing and improving every day. So um, right now you shouldn't be seeing it. Typically on HDMI, we're not seeing it at all. Only yep. case we're working yeah. more likely on on the other sources. All right. But, uh, they said thank you. Thank welcome. you for that. No, no. So noise are are there different levels of noise canceling depending on the the series? Or are they all Equal amounts of noise canceling. Okay. Cool. I like I like noise canceling. Yeah. yeah. Silence is great. Me too. Sometimes, once yeah. in a while. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt them. Just uh, we're doing a live stream here, so we have about approximately 60 people in here. So if there's anything, you can say whatever you like. No, no, you can't. You're so bad. You you can say the the other one because. <laughs> you know. No, shit audio. There you go. There you go. Yeah. That's safe. Yeah. <laughs> so, all, all clear? All clear. All clear? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we make custom media monitors. And uh, a website for people to find out more? Alclair.com. All cool. right. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. There you Very go. Cool. Thanks, all right. All right. Thank see ya. You. Cool. Thank you. See you later, potty mouth. Oh, yeah. Potty mouth. <laughs> Headphones, huh? All right. Their shit, don't listen to them. <laughs> just kidding. This clown? Yeah. This clown, huh? All right. You know this guy? No. <laughs> yes, I see you guys. You want me to go in the in the? I know what I know. You. That's the most requested thing that you guys want me yeah, to do. Yeah. So this is Joe from Joe and Tell. He's got a, a YouTube review channel, and we're doing a live stream. So. You have a channel too. I do. Yeah, but I'm not live streaming. Okay. New record day. All right. 11.99. So, yeah, so what do we got? Like, what's, what, what do we got? We have on? about 63 uh, people in here, so or we do have 63 people in here. 63? Yeah, 63 exactly. Is there anything that you want to tell well, the 63 people? Well, we're headphones. We make high impedance, high impedance dynamic headphones made out of wood, and uh, our newest headphone is the Verite Closeback. It comes out September 20th. This is a desert ironwood. The desert ironwood is cool because you can only use the trees if they fall on their own. You can't cut them down. And uh, they grow, the wood grows in New Mexico, and it grows for 800 to 1,200 years before it falls. So wow. It's really expensive, really hard to get, it's, but it's really heavy, too. It sinks in water. And the, the stock wood for that headphone is monkey punch. You can just feel how much lighter the stock wood is. Oh, yeah. So that's the newest thing we got. But yeah, ZMF, if you haven't heard of us before, we, we just, you know, hand make the headphones right in here, Chicago, Illinois. And uh, I'm the owner. I started years ago. I started nice. modifying T50 RPs and then moved on to this proprietary stuff. So, Jonathan Evans, request a review sample of the Verity Closed Back. This is, this okay. is it, the Verity Closed Back. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's too valuable right there. I, uh, yeah, send us an email. We'll get one. All right, I'm going to grab that and run. Thank you. Uh, you already said the website? What's the site? You guys got a card or anything? I, I, don't, I don't have a card. But, uh, let me see. Z well, give you my card. Yeah, Z my wife's card. ZMFHeadphones.com. Yeah, here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, cool. All right. Oh man, the troublemaker. <laughs> the troublemaker. Here she is, guys. Have you ever heard these? Bro. Oh, it's Joe and Tell. It's Joe. I was, I was telling you that we're going to bring the big cameras, right? All the, ex the crazy gear. This is it right here. <laughs> what a big, awesome camera. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. 
right. I keep reappearing. It's like, a, I'm like a bad penny. I show up in the videos. Oh, uh, are you always showing up in the videos? There you go again. Yeah, you keep going. You keep going. I'm like, no. Also, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I... Just hanging out. Yeah, okay. absolute headphone amplifier. I have 67 people with me, though. That are following you right now? That are right. watching at the Five moment. Screens. Oh, 66 now. Did I scare someone away? Yeah, I think so. So, hey, I'm Ivana Manley. We're here at the Manly booth at the, what show is this? Rocky Mountain Dog <laughs> Fest. Is that how many shows you do? <laughs> I've been doing this, in, yeah, this is my 30th year doing this, doing audio trade shows. Dude, you want to hear something? Owned it. Owned Ampeg. Like musical instruments? Bass yeah. Ampeg. Her dad. Influence for me to get into back into gear, but these days, uh, folks, I, don't forget that tubes rule. I, I, I want one of those because I, I agree. I agree with that. Do you want some little stickers too? Some little yes. Stickers. I like so, stickers too. My daughter is, they're like, she's like three. She likes stickers and. Everybody there you go. Stickers. Very cool. Um, and everyone likes our manly headphone amplifiers. So All right, let's talk about it. That's what we're actually here. Let's talk about it. Oh. Can we? Here, where should the, I go? Take, take the good seat where I am. Sure. If you don't mind. No, I don't if you don't mind. Go ahead, Joe. Okay. As you can see, you can also stand. The manly headphone amp, the absolute headphone amp, is is really unusual in that you can adjust the sound of some some things that no other companies offer the ability to do. So like this button here, this knob is the adjustable global negative feedback and it gets like kind of warm and wooly when you apply a lot of the 10 dB. It changes oh, the negative oh, feedback I like that. inside then, of the amp. Yeah. And then when you have little or no negative feedback, it gets pretty aggressive and punchy in your face. You know? Yeah. Here, this button changes from push pull to single ended. Single ended or push pull. The whole output tube topology is switching, so you're you're going from even order harmonics to odd. Just and on and how fast does the switchover happen? It's, well, here, I'm just watch, curious. Watch. That will mute and blink for like five seconds when I switch it. Watch. Okay. Ready, go. So I'm blinking, I'm blinking. Okay, it's muting. But now I'm back out. So I'm not going to hear any like anything weird happen? No, no, no. no, no, no. We no. Of, care of, of course not. There's a little brain in there. There's, there's code. Yeah. <laughs> it's like someone had to write some code to be told. Roar of the Tiger says, balance. this woman is the real deal. She is the real deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, everybody yeah. knows that. Uh, my daughter Gracie is excited for the stickers. She said, "Yay!" Okay, okay. cool. My wife is watching too. Um, Remote control. Oh yeah, it's you can use them as a preamp as well. <laughs> uh, that's my tone control. <laughs> I mean, oh, dude, you just live near me, right? Uh, Chino's not that close, but. No, I live in Altadena, and you're in Alhambra or something. No, uh, Toluca Lake. Oh, Toluca Lake. Burbank area. I'm in Burbank area. I got all this in Eagle Rock also. Oh, there you go. Glendale area around there, right? So I've got one, I've got one of these there. Ooh. I think you can hook up like a little one. I want to come up with this one. Check it out. Is all the music that you're listening to you're streaming through that service? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll download it all I don't want to Turn it around. Okay. So, yep, like that. That's right. good. But you can stream something. I don't want to be that guy. Oh, no. Don't worry, man. I wouldn't lead you astray. You look great. I need to hear something. Um, yeah, it'll be an iPad to the that guy should be music. Right. <laughs> cool. I've seen a couple that had title of and a couple like yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Now, I imagine these have been on all day. How warm is this about as warm as Yeah. I, I think he likes it. I, I know some people that are worried about like the kids touching this. In, in what's too hot to touch, 140 degrees yeah. height is too hot to touch. Yeah. This right yeah. here is about 110 degrees. The heat rise of the ambient is 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Right here on the back. If you're going to an air-conditioned house, you're right here. Yeah. So it'll be just over 100 degrees in the house. Okay. Yeah. Right so it'll be I warm, but it's absolutely warm. Right. Right. That's the hottest place. Yeah. That's the warmest place right there. Yeah. But on the side... What is the PP and SD again? Push That's push-pull or single-ended. Okay. It changes the topology of the amp. So, it doesn't get too hot. We, 
we yeah. shot all that with the thermal imaging. Yeah, I imagine yeah. there is quite a bit of engineering going on. We do, we do a Just a little Just a little bit. Well, what's Joe and Tom thinking? I think he's having fun. I'm going to get together with him. I like this one. You should. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. You know what? My favorite thing is this, uh, this dial right here. It's so, it's, it's beautiful. So it's clicking and it feels so, so satisfying. It's satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. So what that is, that's an encoder. And it's shooting pulses to a, another little chip. And it's all being, there's a little processor in there with the encoder instruction. And so when you, when you send the pulses out of that encoder, it's going and telling those relays to go fire on their relay line. So the switching is done by switching resistors with relays, and so your left track, right tracking is perfect. Right. So and, it, and it's always going to be better sounding. Not than like a basic a pot, attenuator, a huh? Only, right? No, pot, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the best sounding way to pull off. I just wanted to sound smart and say potentiometer or something like that. It's, you know? That's it's like a potentiometer, but that <laughs> that particular guy is no, called an encoder, is, and it. it shoots out pulses. Yes. So every time you tell, change it, it's, it's rerouting or something like that. Well, yeah, the, the encoder is shooting out pulses, and there's a another part of the circuitry that's hearing those pulses, and then the code is executing every time it, it's getting one of these inputs. And the difference? Color. Just color. Color. Just All the same amp. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. It's the absolute headphone amplifier. It's the absolute. The absolute headphone amplifier. It's absolutely the absolute headphone amplifier. <laughs> That's what it do. Thank you for your time. Thank Man you for yours. Thank you for your attention. Manlylabs.com? Manly.com. Manly.com. Oh, yeah. It's, okay. It's more right. ultra lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> you have Thank good you. teeth. Manlylabs.com will auto route to manly.com, but yes, officially. I like your teeth. Manly.com. <laughs> and yes, tubes rule. And don't forget that tubes rule. There you go. Thanks, guys. I'll see you. Bye, Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, I, I loved watching her face when she was talking to you because she did the same thing in my mind when we talked last time. I was like, you are so damn smart. Yeah. I was like, wow. Holy cow. You are the real deal. Ron, thanks for advertising with me. <laughs> Always. Who's in the best? I'm not crazy about training. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Live streaming, guys. How's it going? Sorry, don't mean to interrupt. <laughs> yeah, just doing a live stream for his uh, channel. Oh, really? Awesome. We got. We awesome. just. So just imagine I have 66, 65 people with me. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. What do you want to say? Okay. Okay. Anything else? So I I fi is that what this is? Yes, I fi. It's okay. a new product range that's coming out. At the moment, this is a Zen Blue. Which is a back um, uh, Bluetooth receiver back. You can output digital and analog. Then we have over here is a back and headphone amplifier. So these are the new line that's coming towards i Check it out for the next few months. Okay. And uh, the website? iFiAudio.com. iFi audio.com. audio. Uh, audio Thank, Thank you. All uh, right. Those arms are accessible in both of them. Okay. I'm told to pick up more stickers for... I'm told to pick up new, more stickers for a friend. More stickers, you can have them. Okay, just this. Do you want to roll? No, 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 no. Just, just a few here. All right. There we go. When you come see me in Eagle Rock, um, I'll give you some more swag, too. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. All righty. See ya. Okay. Okay, and still, okay. Kobas, is nobody here? Kobas! It's like nobody's here.
Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, no. uh, Anybody? My tech. My tech? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? I'm with Kobas. You're with Kobas. Oh, hey, how you doing? All right. I, I, I have Kobas. I use Kobas. I use Kobas. Well, then you guys are my friends. Awesome. You guys are always sponsoring. Is David running around? Where the heck David is David running around, but he's a man in demand. Yeah. Yeah, he's upstairs in all the rooms, yeah. using Kubas to demo on uh, As he should different be. systems, As he should doing be. his David Solomon thing. Beautiful. Um, so you're Dan with Kobas. Yes. This is Joe from Joe and Tell. Hey, how I'm you Rob doing? New Record Day. We're doing a live stream, so we got like 60 something people. Okay. What's up? So imagine I got. That's a group of people with me, uh, Hi, and Bob. we got Albert. Who, who, okay, Albert, I know you. He says, "Can you please explain the enco encoding?" Encoding? Well, uh, is that Kobas was streaming a, a, a FLAC file. So if you know what a FLAC file is, that's what Kobas is. Okay. Um, so it's a native, either 16-bit CD quality FLAC file up to 192K, depending on... Uh, Don't start, Albert. I see you trying over there. What's he trying he, to do? He said MQA question mark. No. Just continue. That's fine. We uh, we don't have uh, MQA content, uh, but uh, hey. So yeah, people you, think it sounds good. So you I say, can. I say great, but ours is a native flat file with no, no other encoding. Yeah. Compression. It's yeah. Lawful. So if you if if it says high res there, and I have the bandwidth, and I you know to stream it, it'll I don't need any special devices or no anything like that. No special DAC. No, no special hardware. It'll work. I mean, in, the we've got in the interface, you just change it, right? Yeah. I'm wondering, does this, I'm, this is an honest question, does that work on, a, is there a CoBuzz app for like Android TV because I have an NVIDIA Shield? No. No, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Not yet. We need and that. On we it. need that It'll and and set. and expanding the library, of course, well, always. The library is catching up very fast. Most people don't know how the licensing works. They're like, why don't you have this artist? What are you, an idiot? You know? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, no. It's you win a <laughs> yeah, no. artist by artist. <laughs> you know, it's basically distributor. We've got all the major labels, mm. which is, you know, for better or for worse, 75 percent or more of the world's music. There's independent distributors, and there's a couple that are just coming on board for the U.S., and uh, that's closing up most of the holes. So I would say in the next couple of months, there should be really nothing that you don't find on other street that you find on other streaming services yeah. that Cobus doesn't have. But again, we'll have like, uh, uh, you know what we call studio quality. So very cool. See you, see you later. True voice of reason. Have a good dinner. Um, how much per month is a question from? Digital philosophy. We've got tiers depending on the quality you're looking for. The top tier, which includes all of the high res, that's about 250,000 albums with more being released every week. And then the rest of the library, 40 million tracks, CD quality, all lossless. It's $24.99 a month or $250 a year. That's the studio, right? That's studio. That's okay. the top top your streaming yeah. plan. Yeah. And there's a discount if you go for a year. Uh, but then we've got a tier under that called Hi-Fi. That's lossless CD quality. It's twenty dollars a month, nineteen ninety nine a month, or two hundred a year. If you use Sonos hardware, for example, which is fantastic, but does not do high res, Sonos maxes out at uh, CD quality. So that tier makes perfect sense. That's uh, twenty dollars a month. And oh. then there's under that for people that only want MP3 quality. I'm not really sure why they'd come to Kobuz. <laughs> Maybe they love our editorial content. They love our taste in music. I could see that. They love Dan's beer. Yeah, so that's $10 a month. But really, the sweet spot at 90 Five percent of everybody who's subscribed in the U.S. at least is on Studio yeah. or High Five. Uh, Harry Bass says Kobuz is the shit. Thank you. Um, Tell your friend. Not to be cute. Confused okay. With shit audio. And with then the shit. Um, the Ishmael says Kobuz not available for U.S. citizens in Puerto Rico. That is Last time I checked, I have a U.S. passport. Well, I don't know about passport. There is a, a, a some development that still needs to happen for us to legally be able to get it available in okay. Puerto Rico due to like sales tax. And, you guys are working on it. But the French guys who started the company were like, Puerto Rico, is that important? I said, yes. <laughs> and so uh, it's, we're just a small company with limited engineering. So there's more work that goes into it and then just flipping a switch. Will I be able to log in, uh, set up an account using my Facebook account? Because last time... 
had an uh, issue with that. We've taken the Facebook uh, uh, login away because Got it. it was causing issues. Got it. So you need to use an email address. Uh, question from Diego. When will you be running in Australia? Another one. In the future, future. I mean, Got people don't, don't realize how much goes into the licensing in each, yeah. each new country. I mean, we got uh, as soon. I'd like to see it sooner than later. Do you not want to take that spam risk call? Let me Let's answer important. this important call. That's that's actually David. Spam yeah. risk. <laughs> yeah, that's like my that's your, of the calls you get. I think you're butt dialing him, and that's how your number's in his uh, system there. You're blocked, man. You're I blocked. see how it is. I see, I see you, Kobas. All right, very cool. I, you, I'm enjoying the, the service. Yeah, I, mean, I think it sounds excellent. It's a yeah. one month free trial. So there you yeah, go. We'll have I nothing to lose. Go to Kobas.com. Give it a try. Uh, we've got a lot of people who are enjoying it. Yeah. And we'd love to have more uh, more join the family. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Thanks. Thank See you. Yeah. Appreciate you. See you guys. Yeah, All right. Uh, how's it going? It's wonderful. So got 70 people in here with us. Nice. Would you uh, like to explain what you guys are up to here? Who are the 70 people I'm saying hi to? Excuse me? Who are the 70 people? I don't know, but one of them is Ishmael Martinez. Oh, nice. Oh, Air nice. Car 33, Forrester 99, Albert Huron. It's a YouTube stream. So, oh, okay, cool. So it's the so channel? We both, yeah, that's Joel and Tell. That's it. And then I'm Ron from your record day. Nice. I'm Chabon from My Tech. Cool. How's it going, guys? Good. Last time I saw you guys, you had the light up background one. Yeah. What happened? That somehow got re uh, didn't get signed for, and then that part got shipped back. It looked I good did, though. I did get the uh, this graphic though, so hey, it's, uh, it looks good. Yeah, right. We are in a really lovely place. We commandeered this spot. Uh, we were supposed to be over in the corner, so we combined with Cobus because there's our friend, and uh, we have a nice little situation here. <laughs> cool. To all our DAX and tons of headphones. Barfy cool. Matt Joe asking the important questions. I, I wasn't asking the important ones, but I will now. Ask the important question. So what's going on here? So DAX headphone amplifiers? Have yes, you guys DAX in? headphone amplifiers and amplifiers. Okay. Can you That's explain a... some of this? Cool. Uh, so the this product is our Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, we actually just won the EISA award uh, for best streamer uh, of uh, 2019. Uh, so that's great news for us. I'm very happy about it. Um, People's Champ, it seems to be the one that's selling most right now. Uh, this uh, is built off the foundation of the Brooklyn DAC Plus, which is award winning. We've gotten a Stereophiles Product of the Year award for it. Uh, it's a uh, straight ahead uh, DAC at its core, but has a high powered uh, headphone amplifier, a fully functioning uh, balanced pre amplifier, and a moving magnet and moving coil phono pre amplifier built, built into, into it. Built into it. Yeah. Oh, so my connect language. your turntable and connect all your digital talk equipment, headphones, and you're done. Or okay. connect it to an amplifier like this, and you're off to the races. Um, so what's the difference between this guy and the Brooklyn Bridge? So uh, the Brooklyn DAC Plus and our flagship, the Manhattan, uh, over here in black and silver over there, is that these are both also secretly professional devices still. They're used in mastering and mixing and recording uh, facilities to this day. And uh, the feature that really matters to that is uh, word clock integration for doing uh, clock management, digital clocking and stuff like that. And these also have AES. Uh, to save the space uh, and to get the uh, connections we needed, we removed the AES port and the um, word clock. And so this has uh, an Ethernet port, the Wi-Fi antenna, and we also have a, a USB storage port. Okay. This uh, supports uh, flash drive drives and SSD drives. We can do up to, um, we've tested up to basically uh, two terabytes full of music Jeez. running and it works great off of it. And we have our own internal app. Uh, this gentleman is in fact uh, scanning his own files connected on a thumb drive into our, uh, a very similar port uh, for the Manhattan. They share it. In fact, what's great about the Brooklyn Bridge is that it has the only component that exceeds uh, our flagship 
Township Manhattan, which is its Wi-Fi and uh, networking capabilities here. This is a um, uh, a lights out unit. Okay. And uh, so this is three thousand dollars retail, and directly next to it is our entry level piece. This is the Liberty. This is nine ninety five. Thank you for saying the pricing too, because a lot of times people don't oh, say. Oh, nice. It, so. Yeah, no worries. Oh, no worries. Uh, and this is nine ninety five. People love it. It's. Um, it still is my tech sound, which uh, we aim for musicality but accuracy. And so this has, uh, it is very dynamic, it is very wide, but there's a bit of forgiveness here as well. So when listening to harsher music, uh, bad recordings, uh, it's a little more pronounced here, and then by the time you get to the Manhattan, there's a much bigger analog signature to that device, so there's a thickness to it, so you suffer less again um, okay. on a very different way, though. Okay. Um, very good. Where do we find out more information? A lot of people. MyTechDigital.com. MyTech. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're also all over the web. Uh, many dealers, tons of reviews. All right. Uh, people well, a lot of uh, people are saying good things in the. In nice. The chat I'm glad here. to hear, guys. All righty. Uh, keep excited for the future. Uh, one thing I will say, it's not our product, but it's a partner that we've been working with. Is uh, this is a brand new device? This is called the D Bob. And uh, this guy, um, uh, Eric Gear, uh, who started GearFab Audio, uh, he had an idea basically. Um, he loves our products and he loves uh, SACDs and classical recordings and the like. Um, but the problem is that if you like physical discs and SACDs especially, high resolution, um, you can't really use external DACs at full resolution because of weird copy protection rules. So he worked uh, with a lawyer and then uh, another third party company that we were um, helping with and uh, found a way to basically take the HDMI out of a universal transport, goes into here, and then outputs either uh, coaxial SPDIF or optical toss link. And then that transmits the full resolution of SACDs, uh, Blu-rays, and uh, various reference recordings. So this one is uh, looks like it's uh, not on, but um, if I plug in an SACD out of this box directly into our DAC, it transmits the bit perfect accurate signal. That's it's awesome. the only device that does this, and it is actually uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, HDCP compliant, so high bandwidth digital content protection. Got so it. it is not illegal, it is not breaking HDMI yeah. or Got anybody's it. laws. It's universal, it's an amazing box. D Bob. It's a, you can order it now. It's a great D Bob. Box. All right, well, sounds good. Thank you for your All time. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're All right, we're, we'll probably wrap up very soon yeah. for today. Um, let's see here, let me switch this over to us. So, yeah, we're probably going to wrap up very soon. The benchmark is busy always, but always I did busy. I did want to talk to them. Yeah, um, and then we're supposed to talk to Moon Audio, right? We, we said that. And then I think that's it for today. There there are two more days, right? Yeah. Two, two more days? Two more days? Let's see. It's, is it Friday? I don't know. Sa so Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. So okay, Saturday so two more days. So we have a lot more to cover. This was a lot already. Yeah, this is just like, one. This is the got a ice lot. cube sitting on top of the iceberg. Oh, but I, I hear you guys. I know what you guys want me to check out. I hear I hear yeah. you. So I will try to try my best to do that. Okay. And uh, so, anybody here? Moon Audio. Moon Audio. Any reps from you, Moon Audio here? Yes, sir. Oh, Hi. Cool. How's it uh, going? Hey. I have uh, 72 people here if you want to talk to We're them about some of the stream. stuff you're doing. Yeah, I just wanted to see what you guys are up to. Sure. So right now, Chris Martins from Hi5 Plus is listening to the Matrix Audio Element X, which is essentially a preamp, a DAC, a headphone amp, a streamer. Uh, it's rune ready. You can plug a hard drive into it. I mean, it does everything. It's like the kitchen sink. Uh, Matrix Audio is out of China. We're importing them in. Uh, if you look on a few of the reviews of the Element X, you'll see that the measurements for noise levels and jitter reduction, et cetera, are just so low, it's unbelievable. Um, also from Matrix Audio, we have the Saber Pro, which is essentially the DAC by itself that's in the Element X. 
So if you just want a deck, then you would go with this piece. It's two thousand, but for an extra thousand, you get so many more bells and whistles. Okay. So then we've also got the Oris Nirvana. This is a beast of an amp. It'll drive the snot out of just about any headphone you can headphone load you can throw at it. We can drive two hi-fi Mansus far as at the same time. It's got that much power. It's about six watts per channel. Um, transformer coupled outputs. You can change the impedance levels depending on which headphone you have. This is the volume control. This is inputs. You've got a balance and two single-ended inputs. Um, I think it's beautiful. So, uh, Diego pink. says, I've heard great things about the yeah. Element X. Uh, moon is solid. And then this guy's all his moon exclamation point. We have them in Dallas at Audio Concepts in Highland Park, Texas. Then the servers we're using right here are from Orinder. This is the ACS-10, which is a CD ripper, as well as internal storage. You can get it in uh, 8 terabytes, 10 terabytes, 16 terabytes. It's also got networking on the back to connect more Oranders to it. It'll catalog all the music together between all the Oranders in your house and, and, and all originate from this piece. Uh, there is no built-in DAC, so you've got to use an external DAC. That's why we're using the Matrix Audio Saber Pro. Uh, this is the smaller version of the Oranger. This is the N100H with a four terabyte internal drive. No ripping capability, just storage. So you'd rip all your CDs on your computer and then transfer over the network to the to, to the N100. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we start at the low end here at $2,500 and go all the way up to $30,000 depending on the models and, and, and the options that they have in each one of the orders. Wow. They've Few. got some servers with DAX, without, some with rippers, some without, one that's got a balanced headphone amp. There's a whole bunch of options. So a few comments here. Matrix audio is crazy transparent, at least according to measurements. Yep. Um, very um, detailed, very resolute. Uh, Digital Philosophy asks, will there be a successor to the Moon Ace amp with built-in streamer? Uh, they're talking about Sim Audio out of California, out of Canada. We're Moon Audio out of North Carolina. All right. Where we have Dragon Cables, Sim Audio's got a Moon line of electronics, so it's not. The got same it. Company. Okay, so ah, you guys are company. mixed up. Um, let's see. How about the amp that looks like a headphone stand? Yeah. So this is the this is the same company that we were just talking about with the Nirvana amp. So this is the RS uh, Uterp. It's both a headphone amp and a DAC uh, and a headphone stand. Uh, it's sixteen ninety nine. Uh, it's fantastic value, uh, very musical, more on the neutral side, not a real warm tube sound, more on the warm neutral side, if, if you will. Got it. Um, then, so then we're also importing in QDC IMs out of I mean, China as well. Chris Martins is listening to the Anol VX, which is one of their top-end models, which has adjustable crossovers, very resolute, very dynamic. You can change the settings to change the tonality. You're basically adjusting the crossover points, etc. cetera. Um, then there's the 8SH, which is uh, what we'll call a more audiophile sound, a hi-fi sounding IM. And then the 8SS is a more uh, pro, neutral, clean, linear sounding IM. Those are the first three that we're bringing into the country. The Anol VX is uh, uh, 2050. Like, don't quote me the exact. <laughs> it's close to Got that. Got it. The tariffs are screwing things up. Got it. And the other two are both 1410. Okay. Um, and where do we find out more about the products? So at moonaudio, moon audio.com. Cool. All right. Any more? Time, okay, My Digital pleasure. Philosophy says, I'm sorry for uh, getting it mixed up. No, no, no worries. No worries. <laughs> no worries. Thank you for your time. Yeah, yeah. Take pleasure. care. Take care. All right. So that's it. That's it, we, man. we did it. We did it. Uh, hour and that's 42 minutes. Audio fest. That's it. We're going home. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be mad if we did it. So hour 42 minutes. My phone is on fire. Like yeah. this thing is so hot right now. And this, I got in my shirt and this thing's getting hot. So hot spot. Dinner. We're going to go eat. Um, but yeah, I hear you loud and clear. I know what you want me to check out. And so I think we've knocked these out. We've done our talks. I did my talk yeah. on Thursday. We did our talk today, live stream. We're gonna grub. I gotta go and uh, talk to Andrew Jones at ELAC about the new speakers, their debut reference. Yeah, let us know the big rooms you guys want. Like what, 
let us know in the comments what rooms do you guys definitely need us to check out yeah because we're gonna try to hit up all of them it, this place it's is hard huge. this place it's, really is huge yeah so um i hope you enjoyed the stream ron you're awesome thanks man check out new record day if you haven't already and uh yeah that's it i'll see you guys later follow on instagram i'm updating more often on instagram uh instagram uh at joe and tell all right see ya take take care take care all right bye